Hi everyone, thanks for clicking on this video. If you want to get right into the meat of it, go ahead and skip to this time or hit the timestamp in the description. I'll wait. I'm still gonna get a bunch of comments telling people what time to skip to, aren't I? Anyway, hi. Thanks for sticking around. Uh, this video isn't sponsored by any product, but it has been brought to you by you, my audience that has kept me afloat for about nearly seven years now. And as the result of that support, I've been able to do things that I'd only dreamed of doing before. One such thing is work on a game of my own, Project Soulstar, the prologue to what I hope will be a series. Some of you may have heard about it already, and others may not have heard the updates, but it's officially been in production for a few months now. Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door is probably one of my favorite games of all time. It was one of, if not the first, RPG I've ever played outside of Pokemon, and though I'd never really realized it, I think it shaped a lot of who I am today, from my sense of humor to my love for stories and interesting characters. And while gameplay-wise, Soulstar and Paper Mario are very different, I took a lot of inspiration from the Thousand Year Door and its sequel, Super Paper Mario, for some of its plot elements, at least initially. At the moment, the project is being self-funded, and that's been possible thanks to, among other things, people watching the things I do here on YouTube. We're not planning on doing a crowdfunding campaign until we have something that people can actually play. That way people can make an informed decision on whether or not they think the project is worth supporting. However, if you enjoy the content I make here and would like me to continue being able to provide you with videos like this as well as many others in the future, I do have a Patreon as well as channel memberships that offer perks such as watching videos earlier than the general public as well as having your name featured amongst all the other awesome supporters that have kept me going for so long now. That way, I can continue not only development of my game, but I can also continue making videos for you at the same time, which hopefully make you laugh on a rainy day. It's a long road ahead. But it's also been a long road and I'm still here, thanks in large part to all of you. I love what I do and I want to keep doing it, so if you feel the same way, please just consider it. Even if you choose not to, I appreciate taking the time to listen. If you want to learn more about Project Soulstar, you can check out the video in the top right corner where I give a general overview of what I have planned for it. Thank you again for staying safe, staying awesome, and staying around. Okay, on with the show. Holy shit, is that a noose in a Mario game? Finally! I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me! He's so paranoid! I come all the way here on holiday only to be stuck with Toadsworth! It's so stifling! Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want! I get that, Peach, but you realize you get kidnapped every other week, right? Which, now that I think about, the f is Toadsworth gonna do if that happens? Why is he the one that has to keep guard? Uh, Luigi, is your hat okay? The L has a mind of its own. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow! Well, he can't be that famous if you didn't recognize him right away. I mean, seriously, how many people are there in this world that look like Mario and wear red clothes? We were hoping you would tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, it would be you, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Then what the hell are you doing here? You must believe it exists too, right? To find the treasure of your, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. Roll credits. Oh yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you hope to get those bad boys. First, you should look for the key to this box. Then use it to let me out. Definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. What are you, like, showing me a picture? You can say it's a small black key. I'm sure I'll find it. This curse is pretty rough, I guess. So I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow! Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing the Y button, and then BAM! You're a paper airplane! The worst part of this curse is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself! I guess if you got good at it, you might fly a long way, but that's the only good thing! So be honest, isn't this curse just about the worst thing that's ever happened to you? <laughs> if you press B, you might return to normal, 
Maybe. Okay, so not only have you given me shape-shifting abilities, which is already kind of awesome to begin with, but why would you think that's a curse when I'm only afflicted by it under really specific conditions in a really short amount of time, and you're telling me how I can return to normal? You don't... Do you know what a curse is? <laughs> you're in for it now. How did you- where are we? You correctly answered five questions! I don't believe it! You win! So very angry! Can't believe I lost! I guess I have to let you through! Stupid rules! You came up with them! Unless someone pushed you up to this task, in which case... Who would put you up to this? It's stupid! So what if you're timid and sort of a crybaby? I don't care about all that. I just want you to be you. Oh, bullshit. The second I walked into Petalburg, one of the first things you said to me was that you wish Koops was as brave as I was. Ahem. I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I am stuck and can go no further. So, in this letter, I shall note Hooktail's weaknesses for those who follow. The dread Hooktail cannot tolerate creatures that begin with Kerr and end in Ikket. Hidden somewhere in this castle is an item related to Hooktail's weakness. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find that item. One last thing. If faced with ultimate doom, the Fiend will use any trick to save itself. If you hope to defeat it, do not give in to your kinder nature and fall for its tricks. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already, mist veils my eyes. Wait, so... You wrote this letter while you were dying, but you still made sure to write the only thing that would ensure whoever the reader is victory in the most verbose way possible? You could have just said, yo, the dragon hates the sound of crickets, and there's a badge nearby that gives you that sound. Also, this bitch will try to bribe you peace and not waste your energy. Um, hey, what's that supposed to mean? Whoa, where did you just kiss Mario? This mouse, please, this game is for... Kids, surprisingly. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? But you're so small, and you don't appear tasty. I suppose you might make a good snack. And the bottoms of your feet smell like they might make a good sauce with some spices. Calm down, you f***ing twitch simp. Then how about the lovely, rare, extra special badge I have? I'll give you that. It's one of a kind. And it's yours for a limited time only. Will you take it? Uh, really? Well, I suppose I could apologize by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. People pay good money to do this. I'm being completely honest right now. Really? I am begging you stop talking. I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail, and all was well and good. But just before my finishing blow, he played a trick on me and gobbled me down whole. I've been hiding in my shell for the ten years since then, inside Hooktail's belly. You were inside Hooktail for ten years? What did you eat? How did you survive? How did Hooktail's stomach acid not dissolve you? Hey, speaking of which, what are you doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad. You came here to defeat Hooktail, who's been wreaking havoc in town. And Mr. Mario here is looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, is it? A Mario RPG where we have to collect seven star-shaped objects? I haven't seen that before. How refreshing! I feel like a new princess! Oh, lame. I just took that shower that gave me the cute hairdo. Why do I lose it the second I walk onto another screen? Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here, before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am the TECXX. Many call me Tech. Suddenly, HAL 9000. 
I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love. Please, if you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. What? Are you insane? You ex-jerks kidnapped me like common Koopas! Well, first of all, that's racist. But second, aren't common Koopas pretty chill in this universe? Most of them are loyal to you and not Bowser. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient, address, and message. You mean this keyboard? All right, let me give this a shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. God damn, Peach, you're a regular Mavis Beacon. How did you log into your email account, type Mario's email address, and then the message you sent him in like three seconds? It's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Roadport. <laughs> my Mario's babysitter? I don't care what he's doing. Are you gonna call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh. Yes, yeah, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. Treasure? Yes, Mario's gone in search of star-shaped jewels known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there's no question of their high value. The Crystal Stars, you say? They sound like good world-conquering tools. I want them! Wait, you want to conquer the world? It's when? I thought all you gave a shit about was being with Peach and maybe taking over the Mushroom Kingdom, not the entire world. Um, that's right, Dad. I'm gonna continue traveling with Mario. And then, um, well, I'm gonna come back a strong Koopa like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Koops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You are my son, Koops. And I am your father. Hey, Mario, look there. The next crystal star showed up on the map. But I'm sorry, I don't have a clue where that is. Oh. Um, I think maybe we should take it to Professor Frankly and let him look at it. How the hell do you know who Professor Frankly is, Coops? Did we give you the rundown on the whole situation? When did we do that? Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish. With three shine sprites, I can power up your partners. Does Merlin not remember us? I mean, it's not like he was a major character in the last game or anything, but he still treated us with a degree of familiarity. In this game, I'm just a client. Are there multiple Merlins? Are Merlins just another race in this game like Koopas and Goombas? What are the rules, damn it? Well, hey, big brother. Fancy meeting you here. What a quinky dink. What do you mean, quinky dink? You knew I'd be here. You read me the letter. Did you bring me my contact lens, Mr. Squishy? A contact lens! Oh, sweet relief! Thank you! Finally, the world is crisp and clear again! I can see! Oh, I'm so happy! Be careful from now on! People generally don't like having their stuff stomped on! There is genuinely nothing I could have done to prevent that! Plus, I got you a new one! Oh! Oh, my word! Mario, isn't it? Are you my heroic little necklace hunter? Well, my, my, my! Aren't you a fine specimen of a man? Yes, indeed! I simply must thank you for your graciousness. But how to do it? Hmm. Perhaps if I grabbed you and gave you a little sugar? Here I come, handsome! Time to give you a proper thank you! Pucker up! Is it me or is everyone around here kind of flirty? Because I'm three hours into this game, and so far Mario's gotten kissed by three characters, all of whom join our party. Like, I get it, Mario's pretty hot, but in all three cases, these girls had just met him. Is this it? There's so few. Well, we have to make do. Let me formally introduce Mario. Wait. How do we know this burly fellow is our ally? He might be one of them! Dude, Puniper, I just fought two x knots in front of you. Did you not see that? The gaps between these bars seem pretty wide. Could the punies not just, you know, walk through them? And your time to be a doofus is over because you have to lead our puny tribe one day. That day is not far off, and that is why you need to listen. Now, first of all... Several hours? 
Oh my god, how has Grotus not taken over the world yet? And they'll never come back, and that's that, and what's gonna happen to us, and... Hey, by the way, what's that thing you've been holding onto so tightly? It's a mushroom. Oh. Well, not to be, you know, rude, but it looks all dry and wrinkly and gross. Yeah, yeah, I know. I picked it so I could give it to my brother to eat. But then I got captured and stuck in here. And after a few days, it dried out. Oh, really? Great story. Anyway, don't worry so much. All my complaining aside, I'm sure Punia will return. You just said they'll never come back. Jeez, talk about emotional whiplash. We interrupted the Thousand Year Door to bring you Pikmin. <laughs> Clearly, she's so overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. How refined. How elegant. Awesome. I suppose I could live with a silent princess. Might even have its perks, you know. Damn, dude. Way to really show your intentions, Bowser. No! My, my life's treasure! I'd rather die than give up my life-size peach poster! Wait, why did he have his poster on his window? Outside of his house. A floating city, you say? So are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. Well, you are a wind spirit flurry and you're floating all the time. Could you not theoretically take us there yourself? Hey there, I'm Bluey, and this guy is a total liar. Don't listen to him. You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happens? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man! You think that feels good? I think that feels like death. How are you even alive? Crud! You dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. Whoa, do you know you're in a video game? Is Gus self-aware? It's all settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend. Then come see me. Francesca and Frankie look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. Finally, a game where Mario works for a mob boss. Just like dead ass, the actual mafia. Um, yeah, this would be glitchful, all right. How do they make it float? I mean, it hasn't ever, you know, flushed from the sky or anything, has it? Tell you what, do about a million push-ups and then come see Uncle Rockhawk. I'm sorry, what is your name? Do about a million push-ups and then come see Uncle Rockhawk. Oh, Rock Hawk. Almost got really scared there. Best thing you ever done, son. Now you Mario, ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, Bart lacks a little punch as a fighter's name, get me? Let me see here. Bam, whoo wait! I got it. From now on, you're gonna be the Drake Gonzalez. Oh, come on, that's racist. I'm Italian, first of all. Second, Gonzalez is a Spanish surname, which then expanded to the rest of the Spanish-speaking world, but it has its origins in German. There's not an Italian thing about that name. Don't go easy just because you know King K, Mario. That's what friends are for. I just met King K literally two minutes ago. Friends is a bit of a stretch. It attacks by throwing spiny eggs. If you stomp on it when it's holding up a spiny egg, you'll take damage, so don't do it! Spiny eggs slowly hatch into spiny, so beat the lackey too before fighting the spiny. Oh, this book doesn't answer my real question. Where does it keep all those spiny eggs? Hey, you hear the latest G-Dog? My boys say they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice shop. King K could use a little shorty in his life, dig? Check her out for me, man. What is this, the third grade? Turtle up and do it yourself. You don't even have anything going on right now. That's a bomb. It attacks by blowing itself up. Yeah. Real smart. <laughs> you challenger is real confident, boys. Yup, he's talking trash. I'm the Donald's twins, he said. More like paper dog face bros. And they stink. And then he said, uh, I bet they play video games and cry when they lose. The writers realize this is a video game, right? This is like the third time they've shit on people who play video games. Why are they pushing this idea that their player base are pathetic weaklings? Anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me from old Hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole, honest. How do you know how to speak, let alone fight? You were just born today. I just realized, if the Armored Harriers have impenetrable defenses, how are they not the champions? The only reason I could think is because everyone ranked higher than them used their weakness against them, but 
If their weakness is so widely known, how are they not ranked lower? Gonzalez, was that your mailbox SP going off? Who'd you get email from? How do you know what any of the things you just said are? You were just born! You, Mr. Gonzalez, this is highly inappropriate. What business do you have here? Please, I must ask you to stay out of places where you have no business being. Uh, you're kind of out in the hallway, Jolene. I was just heading outside. This isn't really a public place, but it's not like it's super private either. Hey, it's me again, Toadette! It's so nice to see you again, Mario! Congratulations on getting that super hammer! It's way more powerful! Do we get transported to a different dimension where only Toadette exists when we get a power up? Or does she just show up? And if she just shows up, how does she know we got a new power up? How does she know, damn it? Keep sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong. You are dead meat. Man, that dude sounds peeved. I'm thinking that isn't our ex buddy. Who do you think would send something like that? Never mind who's sending it. How did they get my email? Is it just publicly available? <laughs> and now we must part again, my sweet mustache man. Is that what's called a kiss? I've heard about those things. I'm jealous. Wait, so you know what a mailbox SP is, you know what an email is, but you're not entirely sure what a kiss is? Dang, this book always gets the important stuff. How do they carry endless hammers? Hey, Mario, you see what happened to our pal here? Uh, body went numb. Stupid cake. Hey, cake. Never eat cake again. Oh my gosh, that cake must have been totally poisoned. Boy, if we'd eaten it, that'd be us on the floor. Yeah, well, serves him right for eating someone else's cake. Like, I wasn't going to have it, but he could have at least asked. Man, this is the worst. We're going to forfeit our match if we don't show. How do you understand the concept of forfeiture, but not what a kiss is? You were born today! <laughs> you wimps should have stayed locked up safe and sound. What kind of trash talk are you doing now? Wait, did you get that security guard to lock us in the locker room? You're darn right I did. I also sent you that poison cake, suckers! You realize you're saying all this in front of the entire crowd, right? I get that you're a heel, but you're admitting to what I'm sure is some pretty illegal stuff. You know, I never questioned it until I saw Prince Mush, but since when can toads have hair? Or is that just a banana stuck to their foreheads? Hmm? Oh! Is this the uniform? Am I supposed to wear this ugly thing? Yes, that is correct. about this. It's awfully tight and it kind of smells a bit. Phew. Who knows how, but I got into it. I can barely breathe, though. What the f***? How? No, no, no. What kind of Metroid Morph Ball bullshit is this? Yeah, join the club, Pipe. Hi there. The name's Darkly. You guys need something? Huh? You want to know how to get through the pipe to Twilight Town? Couldn't be easier. You just have to have something that has your name written on it. Don't you have anything that has your name written on it? Come on, everyone does. How does that make sense? How does the pipe A know what our name is and B know that we have something with our name written on it? Also, how do those rules work exactly? Because I have the mailbox SP, and the last email I got was from Koopiku, which had both Mario and Koops' name in it. Would that not be enough? Does it have to be written in ink? What are the rules, damn it? Once we made landfall on the Strudel continent, we made for Plump Belly Village. Once we got there, though, we immediately noticed that something was wrong. We learned from the mayor that the town was ruled by a giant snake named Hiza. He said his own daughter was going to be offered up as a sacrifice to the beast, too. So, of course, being heroic, I offered myself up to go in her stead. Brave, huh? Now, the custom was for sacrifices to be dressed up as brides, so I got all dolled up. I was one hot sacrifice, bro. If I had a nickel for every time Luigi's worn a dress, I'd have three nickels. Which isn't a lot, it's just weird that it's happened three separate times. Why do you think you need sunglasses down here anyway? What's the point? nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious. That's what somebody said. If you still want to go through even after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. Oh man, the old monster beyond the town gate thing? 
Isn't that kind of cliched? Why, yes, Wapu, yes it is, but... How do you know what a cliche is? You were just born! Hmm. My first partner is a Goomba who can tell me everything about the enemies in battle and the places in the overworld. My second partner is a Koopa who I can shoot as a shell to get out of reach items. One of my partners is not only a baby, can let me get over small gaps in the ground, but also one I can ride. One of them is a purple lady that slams her body on opponents. The third chapter boss is a giant spike type enemy, and there's a chapter that features a mansion full of booze where I recruit a ghostly girl that can hide Mario with her ability. This is just the first Paper Mario all over again! That's a swooper. I bet they call it that because of the way it swoops around. Wow, that's some awesome naming work. Seriously, it's pure naming genius. So anyway, wow, are you kidding me? What a total pushover. Well, we got the crystal star, so let's get out of here. Well, I think my game crashed because I... Oop, never mind. I guess I just had to push a button. Thanks for that mini heart attack, Intelligent Systems. I thought my $200 GameCube game was damaged. Okay, this is a load of bullshit. I've never had this happen to me before, but look how I get infinitely comboed. Hey, what's up, Slick? Been waiting for ya. What? How did you... Were you hiding behind the sky? Rangamundo, little nobody. Who'd name their kid that? Your parents, asshole! That's just your actual name, but in all caps! How is that wrong? Oh my god, I have to walk all the way back to Twilight Town again? Go to Creepy Seeple for the Crystal Star. Come back to Twilight Town to get Vivian. Go back to Creepy Seeple to get the missing letter. Come back to Twilight Town to fight Duplis. It's not super far away, but it's still taxing to go back and forth so much. Now it's our turn. Let's get your name and body back. And now I have to go back to Creepy Seeple again after getting his name right? Oh, come on! So, unfortunately, during my playthrough, I forgot to go to Mayor Dower's house to show this off, but Mario's partners do notice that something's different about Mario, and as such, it's an optional conversation that you can miss. So, why are my partners not more suspicious now, especially given that this is a mandatory cutscene? As far as they know, they already have the Ruby Star and should be heading back to the Thousand Year Door to find the location of the next Crystal Star. Instead, Mario takes them back to the Creepy Steeple, and they're just like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Listen and listen well. Keep giving the Crystal Star Search top priority. Of course, that also includes the elimination of Mario, that meddling scum. I'm not here to be the bad guy for you, but wouldn't it be a better idea to just let Mario open the Thousand Year Door for you? I mean, you guys know that the door seal is weakening and that Mario's efficient at getting the Crystal Stars. Why not just ambush him after- Oh, you do that anyway and still try to f with him on the way? Gotcha. My lord! I've received reports of a great secret in the floating town of Glitzville! Let's ride the cheap blimp there! Come now! You there! Two tickets! One great and evil king, and one sweet young thing! Good, good gravy! B Bowser, the evil king, and a deluded old hag! I, uh, life's too short! What did he just say? Hey! Come back here, you! Impudent little cheapskate! Hey! I'm talking to myself! Where'd Lord Bowser go? <laughs> Forget that wimpy blimpy! I'll be writing this, baby! Yeah, why was the blimp even a consideration? You both flew here to begin with! What have you found out, Professor? Huh. <sighs> this is rather long, so you'd best listen well. 
Are all of you ready? And you there, in front of the TV, you listen up too! Maybe I'm missing something. Are you talking to no one? Oh, never you mind! Don't worry about such trivial details! Breaking the fourth What? Why is there such selective sentience? Some people know they're in a game, others don't. It seems the crystal stars hold the power to seal the beast for a thousand years. So, once a thousand years pass, the power to keep the door sealed shut will fail. And unfortunately, this year may be the thousandth year. Bad luck, huh? I'll say. It's a pretty huge coincidence. What is missing from my life? This tears at my very insides. I must know. What do I lack? Money, you say, huh? Yes, there is nothing like a grapefruit covered in... Ah, no! Foolish Flavio! Not honey, you silly man! What he meant was money! Ah, but if it's money I need, I may be in good shape, because I'm filthy rich! Wait, hold the horses. A great idea has struck! Now that I am thinking of it, I once heard of the treasure of Cortez, the pirate king. Yes! This is the answer! Oh, such happiness for me! A hunt for pirate treasure! Why, that just shrieks of romance and thrills and emotion and even money! Oh, so you knew what was missing and it was literally any of the options I was given. On her deathbed, Scarlet wrote Barbary a final letter. You hold it in your hands. I don't know what's written inside, but I can tell you what she told me as she lay dying. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death, then give this letter to him, so he may hear my voice. It was the last request. But when I saw Barbary in misery, trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to present this letter to him. I've regretted it ever since. But you always could have given it to him. He lives two seconds away. Also, why the f*** would Scarlet give you, a random-ass bartender, a letter intended for her husband? Why not just leave it in her house? He was bound to come back someday and find it there. Also, also, I get that you wouldn't want to bother him right after his loved one died, but after a few weeks of that, wouldn't seeing him blame himself and continue to mourn his wife be the perfect time to give him the letter? On account of, you know, that being exactly what Scarlet asked you to do because she knew he would? Gone, huh? Excuse me, but I'd better be going also. And hey, you! Out there in front of the TV. Yeah, I'm talking to you. It may be pretty obvious to you who I really am, but no telling Mario, or else. How the f would I, Crump? You fourth wall breaking bastard. Mm -hmm. What is that you say? Chocola Cola. Well, why would I have that? But uh, yes, by the way, Flavio is merely curious. What do you need it for? What now? The Admiral may soon perish, and he wants to drink it as his last wish. Ah, so what we are dealing with here is a sort of last request, am I correct? Well, Flavio has no choice. I found it on the beach, but for this noble cause, I yield. However, this Chocola Cola is part of my, uh, I mean, our supplies, which we need to survive. So, I will need you to find something to replace this. On this, I do not budge. Hmm. Yes. I am sure there is something on this island that would be a suitable replacement. Oh my god, Flavio, you selfish prick. Someone might be dying. Just give me the damn laughing soda. What's that? There you the prologue and just curse you already. Now, how did you know I was gonna do that? No, seriously, hang on a sec. Can't you just listen to my spiel for a little bit? I've been locked here forever, bored stiff, doing nothing but practice this speech. Huh? I'm already the fourth curse suggest you met? Are you serious? So, you're saying you know exactly how this is all gonna turn out? Man, talk about a raw deal. You're a twisted little guy, you know that? Whatever, man. How is you being the fourth chest I meet my fault? I can't control the rate in which I meet random curse chests. You have done it. You have successfully made yourself transparent. Congratulations. But... I must ask you to take your dress off, however. Even the potion cannot make the dress invisible. What? That's indecent! No way! Oh, fine. I guess... if it's the only way... Holy shit! are you telling me there's a Mario game where there's a noose in the middle of the main hub, a Mauser kisses Mario's... 
area and we canonically play as the nude Princess Peach? How is this game rated E? I'm Hazy, and I must say, Luigi's a great actor, one of the finest I've seen. After this adventure, we're going on tour to appear on stages everywhere. I'm going to be known as the Red Miracle, and of course, Luigi will be grass. Why the Red Miracle? What part of you is red? Not about that reward. Let's see. Take this badge that you managed to find, but I expect you to lead me to more. Now, let me formally state that you will now enjoy the pleasure of my company. Wait, so in order to recruit the Persona 5 mouse, I had to do an optional side quest that I could very easily miss because it's unrelated to anything in the story? Even though I have to run into her during almost every chapter? That ring was a symbol of our love! We have to find it! We have to! Oh, maybe you just don't love me anymore, is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. None of your sweet talk now! You're gonna have to say you love me a hundred times! A hundred times?! If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie! Oh, come on now, babe! Of course I love you, my little short stack! Oh, please, let's go! No! You have to say it 99 more times, Frankie! Aw, oh, fine, you crazy dame! I love you! 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 No way! I love you! 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 The essential clue of this case, and also the most vital one, as it happens, is that our perpetrator took the whole pot, stew and all. And this, esteemed friends, leads me to believe that the one responsible is you, you gluttonous woman. What? Me? Are you totally cuckoo? I have, like, no idea what you're talking about! Um, pardon me. Sorry. Please accept my apologies, dear woman. I felt the need to practice my accusation skills, you understand. So, she just says she didn't do it and you take her word for it? That's not very good deductive work. Okay, okay, here's the deal. When I woke up this morning, my briefcase was gone. It contained all the contracts for our next deal and even our new product prototype. If I don't recover it, I'll lose my job at the least. Now, now, calm yourself. The next part is vital, so tell Luigi very slowly. Of course, of course. Our company's new product is Nitro Honey Syrup. Used properly, it's an amazing product that can even raise the dead. But if mixed with the calcium from a seashell and a bit of gold, well then, the results are explosive! Whoa, 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 whoa. So you're telling me the company you work for developed a food that if made properly can raise the dead, but with very specific ingredients will explode? I don't know what's more terrifying, the fact that in order to create the elixir of life you had to experiment with corpses, or that for some reason you know exactly what makes it explode. Can you believe it, dear readers? The next issue will be our last. Don't miss it. Damn, really? After seven issues? That's the shortest lived newsletter I've ever seen. Oh, if it isn't Murphy. <laughs> what's that you say? General White. Uh, General... Uh, well, I'm certain I've seen around, but not lately, no. I think he may have possibly said he might head south to a more tropical locale. Creaky Key? Was that it? Yeah, that's it. It might possibly, perhaps, could be it. Okay, I didn't want to say anything, but this shit is ridiculous. Twilight Town was already pretty bad with the going back and forth thing, but now that we're trying to find General White, I gotta go on a goddamn wild goose chase back to pretty much all the locations from the previous chapters, and yeah, we do have these warp pipes in the sewers that can take us there quickly, but only for certain locations. For others, you actually have to get there the way you did originally. Not to mention, it's not always clear who you have to talk to. Mayor Croup, Papatch, the guy that runs the juice shop in Glitzville, the first puny you run into at the Great Tree, and this random-ass citizen of Twilight Town. And as if that weren't bad enough, the asshole turns out to be in Far Outpost, which is where we started! What? You want to unretire in battle again? <laughs> I always knew this day would come! Let me just find your old registration so we can... Huh? Ooh. Ouch. I'm so sorry, but all of our records of you seem to be gone. So our only option, sadly, is to start you in the minor leagues again. Sorry. Are you f***ing kidding me? 
Do you know how long Glitzville takes to complete the first time around? It may not all be long fights, and I got them all on my first try, but it was still a three-hour chapter. And yeah, I know this is optional and really easy at this point in the game, but you don't even get anything for becoming the champion again. Okay, that's literally just Bo's attack from the last game. And now we also have a bomb on our team, just like last time. And also, just like last time, we go to a tropical island. The semi-final area we go to is covered in snow, and Peach is kidnapped somewhere way up high in the sky. There's a character that sends messages to Mario on Peach's behalf, for fuck's sake. This is the same game! It's Titan here, boom! I'm getting nervous. Stop breathing on my neck. You don't have a neck, you're a sphere. Now reporting, sir. And, uh, ma'am, sir and ma'am, Mario's collected the seven crystal stars and is headed for the thousand year door! How the hell would you know that? We just got it and we're on the moon! I saw a suspicious fellow in a cape go through the door with Princess Peach! What? No way! Without the seven crystal star, the doorway shouldn't open though! Yeah, hence why it's weird the text said that Grotus and Peach were at the Palace of Shadow. How can they be there when I have the crystal stars needed to open the door? One star point? Like, I guess I get it. Bonetail is probably the strongest boss in the game, so after I beat that, is anything really a challenge anymore? But Goombas give out one star point! I might as well have fought a Goomba! No one's to serve me here in eons. Who dares defile the sacred place? Hey, isn't that Hooktail? We totally beat it before! What's it doing back? What? You destroyed my precious younger sister! Sister? Didn't Koops' dad call Hooktail a he earlier? Is Hooktail gender fluid? The Mario Wiki will never be complete if I don't have this information. You have gathered together all of the crystal stars I was seeking. No! So the last crystal star we found on the moon... What did we do? <laughs> you just realize now, do you? Yes, instead of taking the few crystal stars you had bumbled into, it was far easier to let you find them all and open the thousand year door for me. Okay, so you did end up doing that, but then how did you get here before we did? We had to open the thousand year door, do all those puzzles, and you just snuck by us every time? But then how were none of the puzzles completed on the way? How did you cross the areas where I had to become a plane? Oh, uh, what do we do, Mario? We're totally done for if we don't attack him. Worm, you dare defy me? What the hell are you talking about? I chose don't attack. How is that defying you? Ah, now then. What ages have passed? So, you were the one truly responsible for calling me back, yes? Yes, my queen. I searched for a pure maiden that you might inhabit. And as I did, I spread the rumor of a great treasure. Then I led the fools who had gathered the crystal stars here to open the seal. Yes, you have fulfilled your duties admirably. I am not worthy, my queen. So, did Vivian not know about any of this? Did she lose her memory? Was she not aware of Beldum's plan in the first place? Why wouldn't she tell us what was really going on? <laughs> <laughs> Very well. Then you, you will perish. perish. What? what? What is this? The crystal stars? Ah! Huh. Yeah, now that I think about it, Grotus didn't really use the Crystal Stars to awaken the Shadow Queen because we still had them. So why did he waste his time fighting us when he was already ahead and had Peach? Hell, Beldum probably could have done that too. Why even have Grotus as a middleman? Flurry's back on stage in a big way, and the crowds are totally ecstatic. And the play she's doing right now is the story of our adventure. Yeah! It's called Paper Mario. I saw it twice. It was totally the best play ever. So now there's a book called Paper Mario and a play called Paper Mario? 
both of which are about two separate, if very similar adventures that, aside from the times I use the paper curses, have nothing to do with paper. And you didn't even call it Paper Mario. I am so disappointed in you, game. Oh, yeah. In my travels, I heard a rumor that Lord Crump and Grotus were both still alive. I guess that makes them pretty tenacious baddies, doesn't it, Mario? But they've mellowed out a lot, just like Beldum has, and I don't expect any more trouble. Plus, I hear Grotus is just ahead, which really cuts down on mischief-making. Well, I'd imagine there's not much the Grotus can do is just ahead. Also, how is he just ahead? It is a damn shame that Nintendo never made Paper Luigi the Marvelous Compass as a fully-fledged game. You already have the story. Do you know how many people would have eaten that shit up? I know I would have. And on that note, you could have made a game featuring the four heroes of Rogueport, too. I don't hear enough people talking about that part of the lore this game has. everyone, Charai5 here. Thanks so much for watching my CinemaSins pastiche of everything wrong with Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. I'd like to thank my supporters on Patreon and my channel members. If you want to be featured in future videos, then consider helping me out a little bit each month, or hit that join button. To those who do support, stay awesome. You guys should head over to CinemaSins, the awesome people that I pastiche. They also host sister channels that cover music videos, brands, and other topics. If you have some time, why not check out everything wrong with the first Paper Mario? Until next time, stay safe and stay awesome. This is Char I-5, 